Do I want to get deep right now? We can. We're still having fun. Damn, do I? Okay, fuck it. Just get ready with me. It's fun, but it's going to get deep. It's going to get serious. And we're going to talk about a lot of hot baddie things, okay? But even hot baddie, what is, makes it bad bitches have bad days too, okay? And we're going to talk about that. Today is one of those days where I feel like I am trying my best to <laughs> I'm trying my best to just keep going even though I feel like I am under attack right now. So basically I'm filming this intro to my get ready with me because I just feel like I've been doing a lot of overthinking and I have been yeah, just overthinking and kind of like picking myself apart. And I know that in this video, um, I kind of opened up a little bit more, was more vulnerable than how I usually am. There's going to be times throughout the video that I am going to kind of interject and just elaborate on some things that I feel like I didn't explain to my best of my ability. Just so that way it's pretty cookie cut to the point. Because I know I like to ramble and sometimes I feel like I don't articulate my words in the best sense of just getting my point across so that's the intro and you guys so basically what I said earlier why I felt like I was under attack was because I had already filmed this intro I had already filmed my interjections because I'm editing right now and when I went to go upload like this intro and <laughs> my other like points that I was trying to elaborate on I filmed it in slow-mo no volume I'm like, oh my goodness, and I just feel like I really did my best and try to take my time and say everything how I felt like was. So anyway, that would have been, <laughs> honestly, sometimes I would take that and just run with it and just stop editing and just be done. But no, we're going to keep going. Yeah, frustrating, but it is what it is, and hopefully maybe I am will do even better at getting my point across or saying things how I want, but... It's a little frustrating, I can't lie. It's a little bit frustrating. I appreciate how you guys are so patient with me, and especially because, yeah, it's just hard because I feel like there's a part of me that has, like, a perfectionist side. So it's, like, when things, things such as, like, lighting or me answering questions in a way that I feel like wasn't the best, I guess, the best articulated. So, yeah, I don't know. But without further ado, dumb truck girlies, let's jump into the video. Hello my baddies with the fatties, welcome back to another video, if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are doing a get ready with me, I am having one of um, me and P's friend, DJ, he's going to be taking some flicks of me in this new denim set, which you guys will see later. I had my friend Shay, basically I had her transformed a pair of jeans into a two piece set, tube top and a skirt, very mini skirt, pretty cute, kind of. Kind of juicy. I feel like I haven't ever filmed like a full makeup glam get ready with me. I did do my eyebrows off camera just because I have to get very up close and personal. But if you guys want to see how I do those, I can show you. But I got that out of the way. I did put on my Instagram story a Q&A and I did get some questions. So I will be reading those while we get glam. But let's just jump right into the video. So I already moisturized my SPF on. I told you I already did my eyebrows. So now I'm gonna go in with my Milk Makeup Contour Stick in Baked, it's like a matte bronzer. <clears throat> so the first question, ooh, all these questions though were kind of like, not loaded, but they're deeper for sure. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, it's not a bad thing at all. I just feel like we haven't gotten too, too deep yet on my channel which is the first time for everything. So, so I got a question, how do you stay healthy all around? <sighs> which I think that's a good question because I all around obviously is gonna mean like physical, mental, emotional. What's another one? What is this? Physical, emotional, mental. Yeah, I feel like those three. <clears throat> and I know the 
looks differently for everybody, but for my mental health, things that I know that help me for sure, which one of the things I've been lacking, but two things that I know always help me is laying by the pool. I love just laying, getting in the pool, laying by the pool, just getting some sun. That makes me feel, I don't I think it's a vitamin D really just soaks in and also going to the gym, which I think my lack of presence in the gym hmm, kind of shows in a sense of, I just remember there's a time where I really would start my day off by going to the gym. And also since moving, we don't have a gym at this complex, so it is a little bit trickier. And I don't have a trainer right now. I know the last um, vlog that I posted, I had went to a trial session, it was good. And I really do enjoy seeing how different trainers put you through a workout. But these trainers, they got a little pricey, okay? <laughs> and although I love like the community of it and just, you know, everyone there is working on themselves, which I love. Um, yeah, it's sometimes it's kind of hard for me to justify, but at the same time, I, I really have a hard time with public gyms as well. Just in terms of, well, I think you understand, like being a woman, it can be hard just to do about anything and not be bothered by men sometimes. I definitely always need my security, i.e. guapo, to be with me. Just, you never know, especially in like unfamiliar areas. Otherwise, I feel like I stay healthy. Um, oh, I guess you could talk about like nutrition too. Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am vegetarian, but I'm not like the healthiest vegetarian. I definitely need to get back on my green juice because I don't always have my greens and I don't always have my fruits and veggies. I'm a pasta and carb girly. <laughs> I love my pasta. I love my carbs. But for a little while, P and I were on a little juice kick because I have a juicer and we were making green juices, which actually have been really fire. That's another thing I used to do. I used to work at a juice bar. I am a jack of all trades, okay? Now we're gonna get into foundation. I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless, and I'm using shade seven or neutral. Just on the back of my palm. I just start out with one pump, and I am a girly who puts foundation all on my face. I know sometimes people just do it like in the center. I just like it everywhere. I don't know. I just feel like because I don't really wear makeup that often, that when I do do my makeup, I usually 95% of the time do like a full, full face. But the thing is with being vegetarian too, like I'm always having substitutions, like meat substitutions, especially like today, there's just so many different substitutes, <laughs> especially cause there's like brands like Beyond, Impossible, plant-based options or, you know, tofu. And then mentally how to stay healthy, definitely journaling. I think having conversations with people that I trust and can confide in as well, um, that's helpful. Journaling is very helpful because like, sometimes you need to put all your thoughts or what you're thinking onto paper and then praying on them. But that's probably like the biggest thing you could do for yourself. Which also ties into another question I got asked which is what is my take on spirituality and i could be misunderstanding the question or what it means to the person who asked so this question is the one i really feel like i <laughs> that threw me off the most because i feel like i just i feel like i wasn't sure who the person who asked me this question i wasn't sure what their take like what their definition of spirituality was um and i for me how i think spirituality is in like a simple definition is just believing in a higher power and for myself the higher power that i believe in is god which i had already mentioned um and i know that spirituality can look differently for everyone like maybe um yeah because like spirituality you can like like i know that sometimes i don't do it very often anymore but i have and i actually do enjoy it is like meditation like meditating on um the words or scriptures in the bible or just like meditating with you know not even on that but just like complete silence and you know reaching that full meditation i know that there's some people who dabble with uh rocks and crystals and you know that's not my jam but i know that someone likes rocks and crystals there's some there's a rocks and crystal girly out there and that's how they you know go on with life and i feel like for me it's definitely more 
praying to God, um, reading the Bible, and just trying to figure out what certain scriptures mean. But that's my take on spirituality. I know it looks differently for everyone, and that's totally fine. I guess I'll just speak on what I believe because I definitely think there's a higher power in my version of a higher power. Um, I believe in God. And I know that my relationship with, oh, and the next I'm just gonna go in with my, oh wait, I lied, I take that back. I'm actually gonna go in, I should have done this before, with my Huva Caramel bronzer and I'm gonna on my eyelids. So my relationship with God has kind of been, when I was younger, I was definitely raised in the church, I believe in God. And so forth. I feel like when I was younger though, I never really had my own relationship with God. I feel like I just kind of, when I was younger, I went to church because that's what we're supposed to do on Sundays. Um, I always was taught to pray, so I'd pray. But I never, obviously, not obviously, but I never really understood what God was for me or to me or who he was as a whole. I just kind of got like the gist of it. And I remember when my... Mom, when she first was diagnosed with breast cancer, I remember me just kind of like pushing away from God just because I had a hard time understanding why there's this like higher, like amazing person who could just has control over everything, how he could allow something so terrible to ha like happen to such an amazing person, i.e. my mom. And so I just kind of had a hard time with that. So I didn't really, I think this is about like, seventh grade eighth grade is when I kind of stopped like in like a blunt way to put it like fucking with God I guess you could say I just we weren't cool or I wasn't cool with him shall I say he was cool with me I was like see I don't want to talk to you because I was just really it was confusing like in my head and in my eyes I was like there's so many like shit people in this world and this is what you want to do like I just didn't get it and to be completely honest <clears throat> Even, like to this day, there's a lot of things that I don't understand um, why things happen the way that they do, but it's not really for me to understand, I guess you could say. I respect how people, people's views on spirituality and religion. Um, it's not really for me to judge others at all. That's <laughs> not how I get down, okay? But yeah, I think, hopefully I answered that question. Cause I definitely, I mean, I believe in a higher power for sure. And like I said, that is God for me, but I know that sometimes people <clears throat> believe in the universe. For me, I mean, <laughs> what I believe is that God created the universe. So it's kind of like people, like manifestation is super, super huge um, for people. And I think to me that ties in with praying for sure. I don't know. And that's just what I believe. I feel like praying ties into manifestation. I think that not everything that I pray for that I want is going to come, like, is going to happen. But I think all my prayers are answered. I know that's that's a promise, is that all my prayers will be answered. So, I'm trying to think. Do I want to get deep right now? We can. We're still having fun. Damn, do I? Okay, fuck it. Okay, so right now I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape. And just concealing. This is the mini one because I wasn't sure if I was a big fan of the concealer or not. But I do like her. I love her. I love her. She's good. I know my uh, my girl Jasmine, she like, once she discovered shape tape, it was like nothing else mattered to her. It was just her, her shape tape against the world. Like nothing, mm -mm, nothing could bother her. And then I'm just gonna go in with this side of the brush. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, let's get into a next question. Best piece of advice you've gotten recently? Hmm. I don't know. What is the best piece of advice I've gotten recently? I feel like it has to just be and this is gonna sound so basic and cliche, but I feel like it's true. It's just like keep going. Keep going after the things that you want because there's really no better time than now to start anything you wanna do. And I feel like that's kind of been how, that's kind of been like what I've 
to say to myself in the back of my mind when it comes to my YouTube and just anything that I've been wanting to do, even with like, you know, me starting lashes, which was a huge, huge step and still makes me very like <sighs> scared. Um, just keep going because time is going to keep going whether you are doing what you want to or not and i'm just like okay why would i want to be why would i want time to go and i'm doing something that i don't want to do you know what i'm saying does that make sense like i'd rather be going after all my dreams and no one necessarily said those words to me but i remember when i went to lubbock and i saw my family they were asking me because once upon a time, I was going to school for nursing, and and I feel like that was like the last thing that they heard that I was doing. So they were asking me about nursing, and I just told them that I kind of put it on pause because I wasn't sure if I was doing it for me or for everyone else. And you know, I call her Honey Bear. My Honey Bear is just like, yeah, sometimes you gotta do what you want to do. And she's like, I went to school originally for business, and then I ended up going back to school because I knew that I really enjoyed cooking. And she, you know, got her degree in culinary and she's like, and now I have a catering business. So she's like, and you could tie those two together. And I know another thing for me is nursing has like a weird, I have like a weird relationship with nursing. So I know that for myself, like nursing was one of those things that like I had planned with my mom and I feel like I feel like it was kind of hard to navigate after losing her because I feel like she just helped me plan out everything like everything that I was doing she was just like right there by my side and I feel like having to figure it out after the fact was kind of tricky for me and I feel like that's kind of like when I really felt my life going to shambles too mind you is like I don't know but I think the best piece of advice I guess that's what I was was what I received and different segments like going after your dreams life is short time is gonna pass regardless so yeah just I think it's hard though I feel like I'm not the only one who struggles with like family pressures of what you should be doing and it's kind of tricky because it's like everyone has all these expectations of you and think they know what's best for you um and I think that's why I've actually been a lot like allowed myself to build this relationship with God because he has my plan he knows everything like all that I'm gonna do all that <laughs> he can see it and I can't and which is fine I just think that's why like I've had to tune out the outside noise because if I were to yeah listen to everything that everyone wants me to do all the time I'd be a, I'd be a million things I'd be a million things and none of those would include what I want to do so okay yeah this might be like a little heavy get ready with me okay <laughs> so hopefully you guys are buckled in and I will give a warning at the beginning of this video like it's gonna get it's gonna get deep today. It's gonna get deep. Let me just here. I'll I'll make it right now. This get ready with me. It's fun, but it's gonna get deep. It's gonna get serious. And we're gonna talk about a lot of hot batty things, okay? But even hot batty, what is Meg said? Bad bitches have bad days too, okay? And we're gonna talk about that. So, okay, that was that's gonna be the intro to this. So that way, this was like your warning if you were not in the mood to get into it then I got about 13 other videos you can watch so <clears throat> this next question okay think about blend it out you're kind of coming off spicy okay what's next what's next what's next um bronzer I'm gonna mix between hula caramel and this mac one in give me sun Okay, so this next question is, what motivates you to keep going every day, even when you want to give up? Oh, okay. I feel that. Um, okay. What motivates me? So, let's talk about it. First of all, let's acknowledge the fact that my 
mental health is a million times better than what it has been in the past. I know when I was middle school, high school, before, let's just say before I moved to Arizona, <laughs> let's just keep it being and just say, before I moved to Arizona, I definitely struggled with depression, um, you know, taking antidepressants and all the, all the fun stuff when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to, yeah, just being a sad SOB. And I think at the time, I really didn't have like a lot of motivation in that, in that era. Like it's, it would be hard for me to even find anything to keep going. So I'm just gonna, not saying that the person who asked me that question is going through that, but <clears throat> I will say, I think the biggest thing for me to help me get out of that uh, mental space was my surroundings was the biggest thing. And I told you guys this from like day one and my first, first video I ever put out, like the, where I grew up from, I know I played like one of the biggest parts in like my mental health. And on top of that, obviously didn't help that I was in a shit ass relationship, but, and it's so weird to even call that a relationship because I was like, what, 15 to like 20. So, but even then, like, despite how old I was, I was still like feeling the things that I was feeling. And yeah, just super sad, super depressed. And I think now today, obviously I'm not in that same mental space, but what motivates me to keep going and to, yeah, when I don't feel like when I want to give up is just that you're here, you're here for a reason. And I think that you should tap into that, like tap into yourself and knowing that <sighs> what you offer to this world is so much greater than the feeling of wanting to give up. And I know it's hard and I know it's easier said than done because I feel like I still struggle with that. Like, I just hope that even when I do like this YouTube video or talk about anything or say anything, I just hope that it can resonate with somebody in a relatable sense, help somebody. Um, and I also am aware that like, I'm not going to be for everybody. And the things that I say could be like, mm, no thanks. Or like, even if it's my beliefs or um, how I portray myself, which is totally fine. I'm not supposed to be everyone's favorite cup of coffee that's the one thing I guess that motivates me and just knowing that I haven't even reached like my greatest potential and I'd be doing myself and everyone else around me a disservice if I just didn't if I didn't keep going and I think that like I said those things are kind of easier said than done but it's also in my opinion the truth <sighs> okay well honestly those are all the questions I was asked so we're gonna still keep doing the beat face but Geez, yeah, you guys came at me with some loaded, heavy questions. But actually, I don't want to dismiss that last question. But I will say that if the person who asked that question, and if you see this, girly, um, if you do feel like, um, if you're lacking motivation in a sense, I just the term give up, I'm just trying to think if that's more of like for your goals or if that's more like in a life sense. But regardless, I hope that you have people around you that um, can reassure you of how special you are and how you, you just, you really are here for a reason. And whether you know what that is or not, because I even just said not too long ago, like, I don't even know why I'm here. And not in a super dark sense, but it's just like, I just want to be, I just want to be like living my life in a fulfilled way of purpose I guess <clears throat> and I know that can look different in a lot of different ways so I just know that that's something that I'm navigating through right now but yeah girly I just hope that the days that you feel like giving up just know that that feeling it just should not be deeper than what you have to offer to this world because you're a bad bitch okay <laughs> and every day just keep working towards the things that you want in life and um, if you do need like other resources, um, yeah, I mean, Google is free and not in a rude sense, but like Google is free. And I feel like there's so much that the internet has to offer in terms of like resources for mental health or if you, if you don't have like physical people that you can go to or speak to about that, cause I've been there too before. Um, 
Yeah, just don't let your thoughts win at the end of the day because the nine times out of ten untrue lies and we often think the worst of ourselves and not the best of ourselves, which is another thing that we as a bad bitch community need to work on. <laughs> More stuff myself, but okay, okay, okay. Enough with the questions, enough with the questions. We are going to finish up with the baddie beat. Okay, and for this part, I just wanted to elaborate on a couple more things. So, first and foremost, to the girly who asked me this question, I also wanted to just let you know that you can always reach out to me. I know that we have never met or spoken, but I feel like um, you just never know. Like, I just want you to know that I know how sometimes it can feel super lonely and just feel like you really have nobody to talk to, but just know that I'm always here if I can ever help out in any way. And number two, I don't really know exactly if the person who asked me this question was um, speaking from like a more of a, a sense of wanting to give up on goals or life. And so I think that's what, I think I took it more of like the sense of like, more of like the mental health side of things is, was, was my take on it. And I also just wanna say that when it came to me talking about depression and me, um, taking antidepressants and I had said something along the lines of like, you know, like all the fun things um, that come with depression Obviously depression's not fun taking antidepressants isn't fun and I just hope no one took me literally when I said like all the fun things I just think that's like my humor when it comes to it um, Comes to depression because obviously anyone who's experienced depression knows like shit's not fun <laughs> like being on medication and all those things are not fun um, at least my experience and then I also wanted to say oh yeah and just um when I just wanted to make sure that I make it known that I wasn't trying to be dismissive or make light of uh, the question I got especially when I ever I turn it into like um I was like just happen to your bad bitch self like or because you're a bad bitch like I'm not trying to be like okay you're a bad bitch so everything's fine when I talk about being a bad bitch I mean like you know, you're a bad bitch mentally, you're a bad bitch physically, like, how, however you see yourself in the baddest, best version, that's what I mean when I say you're a bad bitch, like, it's not just on looks alone, so I hope that's also another thing people didn't think, and again, this could be just me being in my head, so I just want to make that clear, and then also the last thing I did want to say is when I had brought up Google, like, saying Google's free, I feel like it sounded kind of mean, but I meant in the sense of like saying like Google has so many mental health resources in terms of like hotlines if there's anyone you need to talk to, like maybe therapy. I know that there's, this, I've heard plenty of like ads that podcasts I listen to about there being like free therapy sessions online and X, Y, and Z. I just meant to use Google as like a guide as well when it comes to just finding resources that you may need, not as like Google, like just, just figure it out on your own type. So I hope that kind of clears some things up. Okay, we're gonna put that on quiet though, because Guapo blesses her. He is doing an amazing job at watching what he listens to and in the most beautiful way because it does have a big impact on like your thoughts about yourself too and just like your mental health, like what you're watching, what you're listening to. But I don't know, young boy's gonna do it for me every time. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get on that page for real because I have no business in even relating to young boy at all. There's not, I don't think there's, there's very few lyrics that I think I can relate to about young boy. Because he has lived a whole a life that I know nothing about. But that's like a lot of the, a lot of these rappers. Like it's more just like the, like the culture of it, I guess you could say, but I don't know. The things that they do with be rapping about, I'm like, I want no business. <laughs> I want no business in that. Like, what? I'm using the Huda Beauty Pound Cake, the loose powder. I'm gonna get a little bit of that, and then we're just gonna set my under eye. Good enough, good enough. I know the lighting in here is not the best when it comes to full get ready with me, but that's okay. We are. Thankful for everything that we have right now. And eventually I'm gonna have a cute little setup with a vanity and some lights. But this is what we got right now, girls, so just appreciate it. And now I'm gonna go in with my Dior Rosy Glow in Floral Blush. I'm obsessed with this color, she's so pretty. Do a little and then I'm just gonna put it up in this bitch. My eyebrows actually look really good today. 
I'm really proud of myself because I feel like I always struggle with getting my like nice snatch brow, but they actually look really good today. And I did get my, I think I've said this before, but I never know like when someone's gonna watch my video for the first time, so sometimes I repeat myself, but I did get my eyebrows microbladed, and I feel like for myself, it was probably one of the best things that I did when it comes to the appearance of my eyebrows. I was never good at drawing on my eyebrows, if I'm being completely honest, was never good at it at all. But yeah, my hair is, I think it's just like both my dad and my mom didn't have good eyebrow hair or any hair. <laughs> and yeah, all three of my sisters, we have very like scarce brows, but whatever. It's not that important, it's just eyebrow hair. Mm. Kinda looking good. Do some more because like I said this should be going away cute you have this fit and these pics are gonna be so hard and I shaved my legs so yes we are smooth all right next we are going to go in with we're gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish just go in with everything or just go over everything to get it nice and smooth and you guys already know that I had to get my sunglasses to go with the fit, okay? It's gonna be looking so good, so good. Babe. Yeah. You're funny. You wanna say hi? You just gonna peek in? Oh my butt. <laughs> That's not saying hi. <laughs> oh yeah, almost finished. Just gonna do some highlighter, add some lippy lip. And this beat will be, look, my eyebrows actually turned out pretty fire. Do you guys see that? Whoa, did I do that? <laughs> the one thing that I filmed off camera, you guys don't even believe that I did that. And I'm also gonna be completely honest, I've never really been like, I'm not super into highlight, but I will do like something Miss Cassandra taught me. It's just like on the inner corners of your eye. Here, I'll use this mirror. Like right here. I'm just going in with the Fenty Beauty. This one is, the Lightning Dust Fire Crystal. Honestly, sometimes I think about how long I've had makeup and I mean, don't come for me. I'm like, dang, but I'm just supposed to throw this $50 thing away, I guess. You know what I wish? I wish technology would invent stuff. Like, you know how obviously food will get moldy so you can't eat it. So you know you literally can't eat it. I wish that would happen with like lotions, makeup, anything that has shelf life and I don't realize when it's actually bad, just disappear, just vanish because I don't want you. I don't want you. <laughs> Done. Now for some lips. For the lips, for the lips, for the lips. And this is the one thing that I really feel like brings everything together. So I'm gonna say I'm actually really proud of myself because this is one of the first times that I've had to really multitask doing my makeup, answering questions, and talking about what I'm doing. Because <laughs> it's hard. Then I'll just be talking and like doing the same thing for 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, I really hope I answer those questions okay. When I'm editing, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'm like, hmm, it's got me thinking. It's got me thinking. Hold on. got to find my lippy. Two that we're going to go in with are, it's going to be the... Strip Down by MAC and the Cork by MAC. And I guess I'll grab, okay, I'm also gonna like outline my lips off camera because I don't have like a mirror, like an up close and personal mirror and I have to get up close and personal. So BRB. Ah, yes, a bad bitch. Okay, I know this, I'm gonna have to re adjust this top a lot, but that's okay. And so because this mini skirt is a little bit mini mini and I'm not trying to flash my goodies, I got this off Amazon. They're just like the sideless thongs because my skirt, which you'll see, <gasps> the chain's on the side. So it's like, I didn't wanna, I could. Someone could definitely pull off a look where if you still wanna have like the chonies on the side. For sure, I didn't. So I just got the sideless thong. Yeah, I'm really loving how this looks turning out. I'm gonna put on some heels. I think it's cute, I like it. So I just got this coconut spray in. It smells, well, it didn't say that it was a coconut spray, it said it was beach spray. 
where the name of it was like beach or whatever and um it smells good but it smells like coconut so i'm just gonna put on some coconut oil i guess that's my vibe just coconutty smells good though but i feel like it means that i need to go go on an island this is the part where i get dressed get ready with guapo Okay, so it's called Ellis Sand, or Ellis Brooklyn Sand Fragrance Body Mist. So I'm obviously going to pair this with another actual perfume so it lasts longer, but it's giving like, let me see. Yeah, definitely coconutty. It's kind of like, reminds me of the one from Victoria's Secret, but a little bit better. Okay, I think I'm going to pair that. Yeah. Chelsea, come here. Chelsea. The Mon Paris East Saint Paul. We have a guest in the house, and so this is like, who the heck is in my house? But it's okay, Pookie. It's okay, Papa. It's okay, Pookie Bear. It's okay. Yeah, he's like, who's in my house? I'm not going for it. I know. Okay, well, I'll see you guys at the photo shoot just because he's going to be barking. And you guys don't want to hear that. So, yeah. I smell delicious. This is the two that I paired with. This is the, well, the name's not on it, but this is the bottle or the packaging. And this is the oil. So we smell like a snack and we look good. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. My cameraman, the photographer. Hey. What? Oh, well, I guess. Yeah, because we need like some clear cut rolls. Yeah. And like, that easy? Was easy. It's gonna happen. Man, we about to take some fire ass flicks. You hear me? Okay. Okay, that's enough for them. Okay. Yeah. You want kind of like, look like a little bit like, taller ish or like. Use I your cabeza. <laughs> I know, there's some people, you know, prefer... I feel like I'm already pretty tall. Don't make me look like I have really, really long. I already have long legs. True. In the picture? The string? Oh, yeah. Ready? Yeah. 